currency investment option for Ugandans. They are the first bank to offer this in the market. Can you imagine? And simply put, it is a collective investment scheme where different investors locally pool money together in a fund managed by a reputable fund manager. I'm joined by Mr. Moses Rutahigwa, who's the head consumer private and business banking at Stamchat Uganda, to give us more understanding of this SC Shilling funds. Good morning to you, Mr. Moses. Good morning, Priscilla. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know that uh, creating sustainable savings is a priority for many Ugandans, and mm -hmm. they have picked up the habit of saving. Uh, it's, it's usually been individual saving, but most recently they're coming into the area of collective saving mm -hmm. for a unified goal. Now, I know banks like yours are advocating for supporting Ugandans, uh, aiming at that direction. So tell us about this new SC Shilling funds that you have launched. Thank you so much, uh, Priscilla, and good morning, uh, viewers. It's a pleasure to be here once again at the NTV. First of all, uh, Standard Chartered has been at the forefront being able to support Uganda. We've been in this market for the past 111 years, which means we've been part of Uganda's evolution across the various years. But the biggest thing has been to see the evolution of Ugandans over the years and to ensure that we're able to remain a relevant player in helping Ugandans get better. Our topic today is about savings. And when you talk about savings, Uganda has a savings GDP uh, rate of around 13, 14%. When you compare to Rwanda at 18 and Kenya 23%, and many other markets, there's some more work to do. Mm -hmm. Whereas we've made progress over the last several years, but there's need to be able to take it to higher levels. Ugandans save for uh, different reasons. Out of around 16 million Ugandans who are in the working population, you have a close to 15% saving in formal institutions. 18% save within the retirement benefits uh, schemes, uh, which is still quite low because these are established institutions regulated to help be able to drive savings. But I know m m many of us uh, also as well save on mobile money. Mm -hmm. But there are two areas which have built the ecosystem of Uganda for many years, saving within the village circles or village associations or even saving within either in a port or somewhere. Now, when you save money in, in places that do not drive capital growth, in th then they get wiped out by either inflation and currency depreciations over time. So when we chose a Standard Chartered Bank to see how best can we be able to help Ugandans be part of this uh, ecosystem that has helped nations and several people develop and grow their wealth over time, we chose to begin a journey. Mm -hmm. We began by bringing in enabling customers to exchange FX through different platforms, including digital. Then we went as well to introduce the launch or to introduce investment in government bonds, where Ugandans could participate in government bonds from as low as 100,000 shillings, where they in foreign currency bonds, whereby the ticket was still quite high, average of $100,000, which definitely does not take out a bigger population. We did what we did in January, we introduced a foreign currency mutual fund, but still something was missing, which was a local currency product that is at a lower rate. So with SC Shilling, we believe that as long as we have as many Ugandans, from as low as 20,000 shillings, be part of saving, which means you're helping to the lowest of all levels be part of the entire savings culture. Mm -hmm. We still have a role to play because whereas around 15% of us save for investment, 25% of us save for investments, that is still a very low ratio. Most of us may save for school fees, others save for recurrent expenditure, but saving for investment is how you can help yourself be able to grow. Okay. So what SGCDing comes into able to solve is to ensure that as banks we are players in enabling customers be able to participate in collective investment schemes. So far more than 1.5 trillion has been put in collective investment schemes from only 660,000 uh, 60, people. The capital markets billion this number should grow to maybe 600,000 over the next uh, three to four years. But this number has surged in the last two, three years because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Prior COVID was quite, quite low. Uh, is that still enough? 1.7 trillion, 1.67 trillion which can possibly should be 10 times higher because of the size of the economy and the benefit to bring to Ugandans. So what SC Shilling does is to ensure that Ugandans can begin to play and be part of these schemes that provide regular return, provide protection for capital, and then want to provide a chance to grow your wealth and, and protect your family and, and your needs in the long run. Okay. Now, focusing on the SC Shilling Fund itself, how is it intended to work? How mm -hmm. are people supposed to subscribe to it? What, what are the pros of even having this kind of investment fund? 
Uh, first of all, SC is really standard chartered for the, for the okay. benefit of the people. Sometimes the terminology has become difficult. SC Shilling and Shilling is something all of us are, all of us are used to as part of our local currency. Mm -hmm. Please note, uh, the word does not it's clear. The vernacular version of Shilling. Uh, Shilling, <laughs> exactly, yes. Yeah. Uh, and in particular, it is uh, a local, it's a small ticket investment where you can invest as well as 20,000. To invest, you have to be a standard chartered bank customer. Open up an account which you can open via the SC mobile app. So, if we're 10 of us wanting to have a collective investment, we, each of us must have a standard chartered account. Yeah, as long as if you, if, you have an, if you have an account yeah. with standard chartered, yeah. either as a group, you will have, I believe you have an account where you're saving, mm -hmm. or you're saving individually. Okay. Uh, if it's a joint account, definitely joint, your joint investors. If it's a, a single uh, owned account, then you are an individual. Uh, if it is an entity account, that's a separate arrangement. All right. uh, but as long as you are saving as an individual or saving as a group for uh, for a particular particular goal, what SC Shilling does, which has been enabled on to online, is to enable you to be able to save and invest in a collective scheme. The process has been made fully digital. You open up an account, or within our app, you will find that provision where it tells you to invest answer three to four questions within a space of around uh, two minutes you have everything finished you can save from as well as 20,000 and you keep saving either on a regular basis or one time or every time you can save you can't be invested to 50,000 100,000 1 million shillings that's it. So what I can choose to, choose to do that every day or on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis. So the choice of when I actually deposit is entirely on the customer. And the customer, yes. Okay. What we also do is that then we give when you finish, when you after 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 the the investment has been uh, has been uh, made, it is managed by Sunlam Investments at the moment. The first product we do have is run by Sunlam Investments, who are a reputable uh, institution governed by the Capital Markets Authority, mm -hmm. and we partner with that provider the technology gives a chance to be able to view your uh, investment, the interest and the previous month, the interest compounds daily and then it's credited at the end of the month and the capital plus the interest and becomes the investment for the next month which means there is need to have there's a benefit of compounding uh, in the long run. Mm -hmm. We believe it provides three major parts. The first thing is access so everybody wherever you are because available on the platform therefore you have a bigger reach. But number two is about taking in a bigger ecosystem because from as well as 20,000, which means that everybody literally across the ecosystem of Uganda can participate. Uh, number three, it provides regular growth of capital, capital gains, because you continuously be able to have your funds invested and apply and an interest on a daily basis, which then gives a chance to be able to continue to see your funds grow as you go ahead. Uh, we also give convenience so our customers can choose any amount they want to uh, as longer and the period, which then gives them room to be flexible on whatever they would want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when it comes to eligibility, mm -hmm. yes, I need to have a standard chartered account. Very what true. else do I require uh, to be able to tap into this CS syringe? Uh, when you go through the menu, it will ask you if you want if you have if you have had no, if you have had knowledge, and we discovered knowledge is a very important part of savings and investment. And if you do not have knowledge, we will have our team engage you, take you through and have an engagement with you to check what level of knowledge you have on the product, but even other similar schemes, uh, what we have invested before, what has been your experience, what are your lessons. Because as Ugandans uh, and most of us have had different ways, either you've lost money in a place that you, you didn't make a right decision, those learnings help you become a better investor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in the long run, then when you proceed uh, in the journey is that uh, what you require as long as you have an account, you have, you have money on that account, the account is running, uh, there's nothing else required because you're the customer of the bank. Uh, so, so it's as simple as as long as you're customer of the bank, all you need is money on the account and then keep uh, investing as much as possible. Okay. Um, uh, along the way, what we've noticed, which I think is very important for our people, is that um, most of us, somebody asked me a question yesterday, how many of us, how many people do you think buy into these things? Which I think is a very good question. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe that uh, saving has transformed eco economies for a long time across. And some of the markets we do admire across the globe 
have, if you check within the rate of savings, is significant at very high level. But only to not only saving, but saving for investment, which is the sec second level. So we believe that as more Ugandans invest in the solutions, we should see the country and people get stronger and better. Okay. Mm. So what's the difference between these and the offshore mutual funds that you had launched earlier? Oh, great. So we actually... Uh, we, the mutual, offshore mutual fund which we launched in January, we are targeting anyone who wants to invest because investment is, a, a, is across different divide. At Standard Chartered Bank, we believe in around five different areas of that drive growth. The first one is the di diversification. Having different investments in different pools becomes uh, very important. Uh, the second one is on risk and return. Wherever you put uh, risk, and return, you should be able to assess those two, three years. Third one is time in the market. When do you enter? When is the right time to invest? Uh, and with what is the inv uh, and the, the final one is the, the fourth, fifth one is protection. Uh, protection becomes uh, a very important part. Uh, there's one. The, so if you check through around these, diversifying is a very important pillar. So when we assessed our customers. Some of them said, I want to invest some money for my child to go and study later on, or I want to invest some money in a hard currency. So which means either a Euro or, or, or USD, any foreign currency. The mutual funds target that pool. But from as low as $100, you can then choose an amount you want to invest, either regularly or a periodic uh, or a one-time mm -hmm. investment. So the offshore mutual funds target the a person who wants to invest in a foreign currency over a regular basis and being able to benefit saving for a particular goal, maybe for child's education in later on, or you want to buy a property which is in dollar, or you want to have any goal in the future, or even protect your money within uh, to avoid uh, the inflation that could impact currency depreciation. Uh, what the offshore local currency mutual fund does in Terembos and we are going to invest in Uganda shillings. So the two of them do help take out then the, the have everybody participate in savings. Mm. And we've seen great success. I think over the last uh, four or five months of launch, one of, one of, one of every, four every four discussions has become a conversion, which means Ugandans are responding to investing in different uh, products. Mm. Uh, number two is that more Ugandans are asking for information on what is this all about. And when we launched, we began with only two, uh, mutual, two, two mutual funds, but Captain Marcus has just given us authority approval to, to add another 10. Our aim is to increase the number to at least 100 options for a customer in the next uh, three to four years. So there's a lot more work happening in the back end. And what it does, that enables Ugandans to invest either both in foreign currency or in the mutual fund or in Sheringi, so then being able to take on the entire, uh, the entire space and the ecosystem. Okay, all mm. right. So Ugandans have saved, but they also have to borrow some money. Yes. They have to come and take loans for some money. Mm. But looking at the loan interest uh, rate mm. in banks, it's still challenging to some Ugandans, actually to more Ugandans than you could think of. Are there policies that are being revised to be able to then seduce Ugandans into taking up loans yet again? I think so many things do, dr do drive uh, a rate. When you see a rate that the bank gives, uh, in a, not if only in a bank, any other financial institution gives to be able to become a determinant rate for, um, for, 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 for lending, there are so many things that go behind it. Number one could be the overheads, high cost of, uh, of overheads or high cost of running business uh, across. And that is uh, an area that you cannot take out unless you make deliberate steps. I'll talk about that. Second one should be uh, if there are either higher, higher cost of borrowing, uh, higher cost of funds at, at either government bonds. Uh, that also becomes another determinant. And several other factors could be the level of capitalization of the industry, profits, and uh, even the loss rate, or the ability to be able to recover in case the loan goes bad. And so the ability for cases to be either discharged off within uh, the commercial court, uh, faster helps to raise the capital that could be applied elsewhere. Uh, what I think our banks, what is in our control, first of all, is ensure that we can be able to uh, drop our overheads. When you see us launch products that are digital, it means that they ensure that the customers can be able to access these on the touch of their hands, being able to then give uh, lower cost of acquisition, lower cost of servicing of the mm -hmm. customer, which becomes 
blow up beta benefit to the borrower later on. Uh, the second thing, of course, the government has been deliberate in being able to uh, drive down uh, local borrowing, which I believe is, uh, is a domestic borrowing, which I think is a very, very important step. And those benefits will be able to compound over time. Uh, as banks also is to ensure that by all means we keep becoming as efficient as possible in how we deliver service to customers. And we do believe that uh, as the journey we are on is being able to uh, enable more, more Ugandans, being able to be, en enable more Ugandans access uh, loans at a lower rate, uh, but this is a journey that has to continuously be able to go on, and there's been progress made over the last a few years. But one thing I'd like to mention, which I think has been very key, and our customers asking it for a long time, sometimes what causes a need to borrow is I don't have enough money I have built mm -hmm. to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. When we are coming in to be able to drive savings, to create a diversity in terms of choice, that if I want something, if I can view, build my uh, capital over the next three years, and then maybe I can delay my goal for the next three years and yeah. do it at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, or I can partly finance, partly finance from savings mm -hmm. and partly finance from the loan. Uh, so that you don't wake up and want to begin a business and the first thing you think about is yes, a loan. A loan. Yes, think true. about a combination of yeah. both individual money and then maybe loans coming to help and be able to do some working mm -hmm. capital needs. Mm -hmm. So we believe the discussion on saving cannot be separated from lending because the two go hand in hand. And uh, as a bank, we believe that as more customers embrace the solution we bring on board, it the benefits over the next three to four years in the people who invest will be key. We've seen it, the people who have invested with us, uh, who began to with us around seven, eight years ago, what we've seen happen in their lives, the stories sometimes, of course, maybe confidential, you can't talk about in public, but for us who work with these customers, they're extremely very happy. They have seen growth in their capital within their space. They have seen the chance to be able to buy assets using their savings, and they've had a chance to be able to diversify in different markets, in different currencies, and live a decent life either in the early life or even in retirement and retire decently. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. In your closing marks, Mr. Rutahigo, to the servers or people, how do we transform the mindset of Ugandans from servings into investing, especially collective investment funds, so that they can then, you know, build towards those goals? I believe that uh, the first thing that is very key to ensure that we're able to uh, d uh, transform the minds of Ugandans is first of all to have the right systems. And I must appreciate our partners, the Capital Markets Authority and other regulators who have tried to pr provide the, the benchmark, first of all, have regulated institutions that know how to do the job and do it well. The partners we come with you that have been the market have been regulated and they have a very solid record that can be tested. Mm -hmm. And this, I think, is the first thing. The second thing is to uh, ensure that by all means we allow to learn because learning is important. And that's why when we begin from as well as 20,000, we're saying begin, go slowly because the benefits come over time. See the growth See the for growth yourself. for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if there's a challenge, come back, let's have a conversation. Yeah. Let's have a discussion. We believe the journey is not just, we can't wake up in the morning and uh, I'm a marathon in my other life. You can't run a marathon in just mm -hmm. one sprint. Mm -hmm. You have to take it, take the step quick by step. quick fix mindset. <laughs> yes, yeah. So we believe that Uganda should be able to pick, look at these solutions, ask us, our team at Standard Capital Bank will be able to answer all questions, mm -hmm. and let us engage. But we believe that also we've given enough tools, even on the platform, where even if you can't reach us, you can read, engage us, and let us help you begin this journey together. Uh, of, of the next three to four years, all shall be, or if we begin now, I believe we shall be better. I think as I must end the famous quote, which says that the, last, the, the best time to invest was yesterday, the second best time is today. May you begin this journey and we'll spoke this journey together and make a shilling part of our journey and the years ahead together. Okay, Mr. Mm -hmm. Moses Rutahigo there for the Standard Chartered Bank and their commitment to enabling Ugandans pick up on a new mindset in terms of investing for your goals. So it starts with what are your goals? What do you aim at? And then you start planning for that financially, not having